Hello everyone, welcome back. Now, during this lesson, we are going to talk about Launched Effect API. We use Launched Effect to launch a core routine inside the composition. So we can run our site effect causing code part inside that separate core routine without getting affected by recompositions. When Launched Effect enters the composition, it launches a core routine with the block of code passed as a parameter. The core routine will be cancelled if launch defect leaves the composition. We will continue with the code we used during the previous lesson. As you can remember, we have a toast message which shows the toast every time we interact with the user interface. So that is the side defect. We only want to display the toast message once, but it is displaying every time we do something with the UI. To control the execution of that code line, we can use launch defect. Launch defect. You can see we have two parameters, key one and block. For the key one, I am adding two. So this code part will execute only once. This block is actually a lambda. Since it is the last parameter, we can use it as the function body. Let's cut and paste this code part. Now, this toast message will display only once. Let's run the app and see how it works. You can see initial toast message. Let's add some values. This time, toast message does not display for every UI change. For launch effect, this key is very important. When the value of the key or the state of the key changes, launch effect cancels and restarts. So we can use this key to restart the effect when needed. To demonstrate to you how this key works, I am going to make a little change to the business logic of the app. Let's say every time this total count exceeds 300, we need to restart counting. We need to set the total to zero and display the toast message again for the new counting round. Let's start by adding a new mutable state named round. Default value is 1 for the first round. After that, inside the on-click event of the button, total and input should reset to default. and round should increase by 1. Next, let's set round as the key of the launched effect. And I am also changing the toast message. Now, every time the toast count exceeds, 300. That means every time round this state change, launched effect will restart and display a toast message. Let's run the app again and see how this works. We got our initial toast message. Let's set values until toast count exceeds 300. You can see, as we intended, toast message displayed. So that's how we can restart a launched effect. 
Now, I have a coding challenge for you. During a previous lesson, you learned how to use a snack bar with Jetpack Compose. I want you to replace this toast message with a simple snack bar. As usual, I will show you the answer. But try it yourself first. Please pause the lesson now and start coding. Did you manage it? As usual, I am going to show you how to do it now. So you will be able to compare your codes with mine. In order to display a snack bar in Jetpack Compose, we need a scaffold. To have a scaffold, we need a scaffold state. So let's start by defining a scaffold state. Well, scaffold state scaffold state equals remember scaffold state. Then add the scaffold pass in that state. Let's comment the toast message. Then here, scaffold state dot snack bar host state dot show snack bar. We can copy the message from the toast. Duration equals snack bar duration dot short. Usually, we would get this snack bar result as a well and we would use that to handle use actions on the snack bar. But here, I only added a very basic snack bar. Let's very quickly run that and see how this works. Good. Let's count several values and check. Yes, app is working as we intended. Now, as you can remember, we were able to display a toast message without using launch effects. It showed an unexpected behavior. It was not effective, but app worked without showing any build time error. Let's comment this launch effect code block. You can see. Android Studio showing an error. Suspend function show snack bar should be called only from a core routing or another suspend function. So, show snack bar is a suspend function. When we need to call to a suspend function like that from a composable, we need to use a launched effect block. When launched effect enters the composition, it launches a core routine in the scope of dispatches.main. So we can use that to call suspend functions safely from inside the composable. If the composable exists, composition, or in other words, is no longer being displayed on the screen, the core routine will cancel, avoiding any memory or process leaks. So, I am going to end this lesson now. During the next lesson, let's talk about Remember Core Out in Scope Side Defects API. Thank you so much for listening. See you soon in the next lesson.